Hey guys, I just wanted to talk about, um, I'm just doing some more stuff with uh, these blue stuff molds. Um, so, I recently bought some milliput because I'm running low on green stuff and milliput's a lot cheaper. And I've also heard that it's meant to be a lot better for doing things like these moldings, but just because of the different properties. Um, so, this is a, a box of the milliput standard I've got here. It's... Uh, 113 grams um, and it cost me three pounds twelve whereas I'm not sure how much green stuff I had initially but I, it was the North standard pack I bought from Games Workshop and it was about seven pounds and I think even on eBay and stuff it's probably about double the price of the same thing now I'm not saying don't use green stuff I really like green stuff um, and obviously it's got different properties, it's used for different things. I've also been told that you can actually mix milliput and green stuff and sort of uh, get the properties of the both. So I'm hoping maybe in the future I'll play with that for sculpting. Um, but, you know, because of... But I'm going to try and save my green stuff for sculpting rather than this moulding thing. Um, so this is the milliput is cheaper. It's much better for that. Um, so it's fairly similar to green stuff. You get two parts, you mix them together. Um, and then obviously they cure over time. I've just pushed them into the molds there. Uh, so one thing I did notice is um, it's less, it is less adherent than green stuff. It doesn't stick to you as easily. And if you put water with it, it go, it's a lot messier. Um, you get a lot more residue coming off, uh, which is something I hadn't realised. So you know, it's something I've got an idea of for in future. Maybe use less water with it, um, but. I mean, I should be all right using less water because I noticed that it was sticking to my fingers less than green stuff would. So that's quite handy. Um, so right there, I've got uh, a helmet that I've actually already molded out green stuff. It didn't come amazing in green stuff, but I'm hoping that the milliput will work better. If not, I'm going to remold it. I've seen a few people do two part molds, so I'm going to might try that in future. And then the other one, which has got like four things in it. So there's like a pistol and it has holster, some pouches, a sheath for a knife. And then there's a minus Tirith shield. Uh, so these are things that I'm like, you know, I've not actually got any plans for them really at the moment. But things like pistols and sheaths and things, they're always things I never have enough of. I always want more. And I thought, okay, uh, that would be something that would be really handy to be able to mould as and when I need it. So my plan is in the future, is basically I'm going to keep a little bag of blanks. So like the shield and this holster, there's a few other bits, and there's a helmet in there and stuff. Um, so my plan is that, you know, I'm never going to use those for models. I'm never going to stick them to models. And in fact, something I've been thinking about is I think my last last pistol, I actually used up on the Imperial Guardsman, I'm like, damn it, I should have I saved that now so I could mould it, and I can have more, but I'm, I'm sure I'm going to buy more models in the future, and I'll find another one. I might have one in my bits box anyway somewhere, so I'll have to have a search through. Um, but the great thing about blue stuff is it's reusable. You just drop it in um, boiling water, you know, give it a few minutes, then you can just press whatever you want into it, you know, and then you leave it a few more minutes and then it's set again. So that's the thing is like, if I wanted to use all my blue stuff to make pistol holsters or shields or whatever, I could do that. And then the next time I could use it for something else completely. Uh, so Milliput also seems to cure a lot faster because the rule with green stuff is I usually leave it, I usually try not to do anything with it once I've worked with it for at least 24 hours. Normally I go 36 to 48 just to be certain, especially in the UK, especially in the winter. Because if it's cold, it does reduce the setting time. Um, and just because what the UK is like, especially where I live in Scotland, I mean, it's May now and it's still bloody cold at times. <laughs> so... It's just one of those things. I don't know how Milliput reacts to the to the heat, but it reckons that it it becomes rock hard in three to four hours. So even then, I'm thinking, oh well, five or six hours to be safe, and it's quite warm stay anyway, so I should be all right either way. Um, but yeah, so hopefully in a few hours, remember tomorrow, 
I'll be able to see how they've come out. Like uh, for me, this is just a learning a learning process. Um, so I'm just gonna be like just doing stuff all the time. Um, but yeah, I'm just sort of playing around with this at the moment. Uh, so keep stay tuned if you wanna, you know, see what I do wrong, and then you can learn from my mistakes and not make the same mistakes and things like that. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and happy hobbying.